we we'll take a look at the snow bungee cobra. Cobra is about uh, five feet long. Um, it's made of very strong bungee cord. It takes about 4,000 pounds to pull this tool apart. What it allows us to do is use another sled to pull with. We've never pulled with another snowmobile before because if we hook up to a stuck sled with a pulling sled and use a rope, the rope gets tight, we spin the track on the stuck sled and both sleds are stuck. We have to figure out a way to use the weight and momentum of that other sled that's pulling catch its weight and momentum and throw that energy back on to this pulling job of the stuck sled. Cobra is uh, essentially a snatch strap that will handle 4,000 pounds of force. Comes with a uh, adapter strap. A lot of lift bars are the wrong shape to hook the hook into so Cobra comes with this adapter strap. We put that on there. I actually like to take the adapter strap, put it on my lift bar, Take a hot awl and burn a hole right there and then take a zip tie and zip tie through there so that stays on the back of my lift bar all the time. Then whenever I want to pull with Cobra, that straps there is a hitch. I'm not trying to hook into some place with the hook. I hook here. Cobra also comes with these little rubber securing straps. We pull that closed. That'll keep the Cobra from coming off while you're trying to use it. <coughs> So this is going to allow us to hook up to a stuck to sled, get that sled moving, it's going to stretch, it's strong enough to catch the sled's energy at about 10 miles an hour, it'll cushion it to a small stop, the very end of the stretch it turns into a rope, and um, when it stops stretching you're going to get a jerk on that sled, and it's going to jerk the sled forward, just as it has all of this bungee cord stretched. If I was to stretch this to the point where it stops stretching, it'd be holding about 300 pounds of tension. So when we take off with this pulling sled, the Cobra stops stretching, turns into a rope, gives, gives the stuck sled a bump forward. At that point, it's also got 300 pounds of rubber that's pulling forward, bringing the stuck sled on out of the hole. You generally always want the track spinning on the stuck sled as, as you take off, because if you don't, you'll lose that energy at the end when you get the little bump uh, by the Cobra stopping, stretching, stop, stop stretching and gets the sled jerked forward and if the track's spinning you'll take advantage of that and it'll bring the sled on out.